see is leading the conversation in a way that's moving it forward as opposed to reacting to what the next... University of Alabama student Elisa Bray, who is attending the Hispanic Journalist Convention, agrees that the U.S. is not the only one to blame. You need to be able to be a watchdog and um, really be able to stand up and say this is something that's important for all of us to be able to recognize, but how can we work with other countries to make sure that things like this don't happen? But she believes we've got an obligation to render aid. We are responsible for, you know, the 300 million people who do live here, as well as um, the, the people who are coming to us for help. You're going to want to cover some of that video, so you're only going to get four sound bites out of that, even if that. Um, so you need to, that to cover up where your cuts are, because otherwise you have jump cuts. You don't want jump cuts. <laughs> so you can kind of, this, this is just to give you guys an idea of like how light can impact your face, the shadows on your face, things like that. To get the most dramatic effect is to actually stand over by the window and do the rotation around. Be unafraid. I challenge you to sit down at your desk on Monday morning and take a cold, hard look at yourself and ask the question, why not me? Why not you as an ex-executive editor of the LA Times? Why not you as an ex-NBC Nightly News anchor? Why not you as an ex-president of NPR or News Corp? And the future of NHJ is about 4,000 members. It's about uh, more bloggers. It's about more Spanish language members. It's about being able to have an organization that sees its members as amazing, uh, contributors to our entire society, not just the Latino one, but the entire U.S. society.